Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duel Stunts. I'm gonna be doing an Ice Jade deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because this deck is an extremely fun water deck that can control the board really easily and lock down your opponent. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell there so you can come part notification squad, and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request the deck profile every single month to your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Ice Jade Ran a Greeny. This card is an amazing card that helps us step into all sorts of cool synchro plays, and it also counts as our Ice Jade Field Spell while it's equipped with an equip card. This card is ability you can discard one other Ice Jade card or a water monster to be able to special summon this card from your hand. Then you can special summon one Ice Jade token that is an Aqua Water level 3 zero attack and zero defense to your side of the field, which is a crazy powerful effect so that we can sync summon into our insane level 10 synchro plays because this card is a level 7 synchro or level 7 tuner monster and the token comes out as a level 3 so that gets us into level 10 synchro plays which is amazing we then play three copies of ice jade tremora tremora is definitely a three of in the build because this card is the ability you can send this card from your hand to the grave to special summon a water monster from your hand, which is great to be able to summon out some of our cards to our side of the field. We then play three copies of the best normal summon in the entire deck, and that's going to be three copies of Ice Jade a greenie a greenie is really good as a three of in the build because this card is ability when this card is normal or special summon you can add an ice jade spell or trap from your deck to your hand which is a really good effect to be able to search out anything that you need off this card's ability we then play two copies of ice jade cosmoclore cosmoclore is really good in this deck as a two of but you only really need two copies of this card because it is searchable as the ability if a face up card is in the field spell zone then you can special summon this card from your hand and then why you have your copy of your ice jade field spell is on the field monsters that your opponent control can only activate their effects the turn they are summoned which is such a powerful effect to be able to lock down your opponent with and if your ice jade monster battles an opponent's monster that opponent's monster loses a thousand attack during damage calculation only which is a insane effect for this card to have we then play a single copy of Kingfisher. Kingfisher is really good as a one of, but you only need a single copy of Kingfisher. This card is ability to let you target a water monster you control and equip this card from your hand to the field to it, which is a really cool effect. And an Ice Jade monster equipped with this card can attack while it's in defense solution, which is basically turns them into super heavy samurais, which is such a cool effect. We then play a single copy of Ice Jade Creation. This card is really good as a one of because it is a tuner to help us synchro climb into other plays, but this card is also really good as a combo piece in the deck. We then play three copies of Abyss Shark. Abyss Shark is amazing as a three of in the build because this card is able to control a water monster. You can special summon this card from your hand. And if this card is special summon, you get to add a copy of a level three, four, or five fish monster from your deck to your hand. This card can also be treated as a level three, four, or five for a XZ summon of a number XZ monster, which is a really cool effect for this card to have to be able to step into a bunch of different XZ plays using this card. We then play a single copy of Crystal Shark. Crystal Shark's a great one-up to be able to use their copy of Abyss Shark, is if this card is used for an XZ summon of a number monster, it can be treated as a level 3, 4, or 5, just like your copy of Abyss Shark, and if this card's in your hand or grave, you can target a water monster on the field and special summon this card, but banish when it leaves the field, and if you have half the monster's attack points, but it gets you two monsters out on your side of the field to make an XZ play. And then play a single copy of Dream Shark, this card is basically like the Cyber Dragon of the deck, that if you only control water monsters or you control no monsters, you can special summon summon this card from your hand it works really well with a bunch of cards in the deck to help us go in for xz plays we then play three copies of Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is an amazing three of in the deck because this card basically just stops your opponent from touching the deck and it's an amazing hand trap overall. So that's it for the monsters guys. Let's get in to the spells. So 
So for the spells, we're going to start with two copies of Foolish Burial Goods. And Goods is good. This card is really good in the deck as a 2-0 because it works really well with our copy of Ice Barrier. So we can get a search of one of our water monsters, which is just extremely helpful. We then play two copies of Ice Jade Manifestation. Manifestation is great, but this card does require a little bit of setup, which is why I just play two copies in the build. It has the ability if you control a water monster and your opponent has a monster on the field or in the graveyard, you can take an Ice Jade monster from the deck and either send it to the grave or special summon it, which is an insane effect, but it does require that setup which is why i just play two this card also has the ability if a face-up ice jade monster you control leaves the field by an opponent's card except from being destroyed and except during the damage step you can manage this card in the graveyard and then target one card your opponent controls and banish it which is a really cool effect we then play three copies of Ice Jade Cradle. Cradle is definitely a three of in the build because this card helps out so much. It has the ability to let you add an Ice Jade monster from your deck to your hand with a different name from cards you control or in the graveyard, which is just such a cool ability to basically just get to the exact card that you need when you need it. We then play three copies of the Ice Jade Field Spell. This card is crazy powerful and a card you always want to get to because a lot of the cards need this card on the field. As believe when this card is activated, you can add one of your Ice Jade monsters that's banished or in the graveyard back to your hand. And once per turn, if a monster is normal or special summon, except during damage step, you can target a water monster you control. And that monster, along with any monster face up that your opponent currently controls, loses attack equal to the targeted monster's original attack until the end of the turn, which is a really insane effect to help us go in for game. We then play three copies of Ice Jade Curse. Ice Jade Curse is amazing to combo with our copy of Cosmic Lore because while an Ice Jade monster and your copy of your field spell are on the field, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters that were summoned that turn, essentially turning it into a one-sided skill drain, which is so cool. And when a monster is destroyed by battle involving your Ice Jade monster, you can target one of the destroyed monsters and inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack doing a little bit of burn damage to your opponent as well so that's it for the spells guys let's get in to the traps So for the traps, guys, we're going to start with a single copy of Full Armored XZ. Full Armored XZ is really good for the Armored XZ package we're playing in the extract. This card comes in extremely handy. It's just a really powerful card overall because we can make rank fives so easy in this build with our shark package. We then play two copies of Ice Barrier. Ice Barrier is really good because this card also protects us from attacks and has a really cool graveyard effect. You can manage this card from the graveyard to send a level 5 or higher water monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard. Then you can add a water monster from your graveyard to your hand, which it doesn't have to be the same one that you sent. It can be a different one, which is super cool. We then play three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Impermanence is just really good as a three of in the build, just to basically stop your opponent's monster effects and also lock down entire columns of spells and traps so that's it for the main deck guys let's get in to the extra deck So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start with two copies of our Ice Jade Synchro Monster. This card is amazing. It's so easy to summon out to your side of the field, ran a greenie, and this card is just really good to be able to summon out to your side of the field. It's really hard for your opponent to deal with, and it's an awesome 3,000 attack point monster that you can just summon out and control the board with. We then play a single copy of the Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign. This card gets really big on your side of the field, and it's really hard for your opponent to deal with. It's a really cool card to be able to make in this deck but usually i just make the copy of the ice jade Gra uh, gram agrini which is a really cool card to be able to make but i really like this card as an option as well we can lay a single copy of egyptian god slime you can make this card using cosmic lore and the field spell which is really nice because you'll drop the attack points of cosmic lore down and it is a level 10 aqua 
aqua monster. So you can tribute it to be able to make Egyptian god slime, which is really cool to be able to do. We can play a single copy of number four, Stealth Krajan. This card does burn damage, turns everything on the field into water, and it's just an overall fantastic card to be able to make in the deck. We can play a single copy of Stealth Spawn to be able to go along with our copy of Stealth Krajan. This card is just really good to go along with Stealth Krajan. Play a single copy of Nash Knight. Nash Knight's really good as a package in the deck because this card helps you step into a bunch of different plays in this build because it is a level or it's a rank 5 XZ monster you can make it with your shark package extremely easily and it has a really cool ability it cannot be destroyed by battle with a number of monster is on the field and during the main phase quick effect you can detach two material to this card to attach a number monster number XZ monster from the extra deck to this card as a material which is a really cool ability because it attaches a monster that's a between 101 and 107 in its name then you can attach one other face up monster on the field to this card as a material which card you're always attaching this card is your copy of number 101 silent honor arc which is a really cool card to be able to make or be able to make in this deck to be able to take cards or to be able to attach under your copy of nash knight which usually you're just attaching it under your copy of nash knight so that you can rank your copy of Nash Knight up into CXZ Nash Knight. You basically make it like a copy of Utopia Lightning, which is really cool to be able to do because you also XZ summon this card using a copy of Nash Knight you control, transferring its materials. It cannot be destroyed by card effects, and you can detach a material from this card to special summon from your extra like one number XZ monster as a number between 101 and 107 in its name using this face of card you control as a material, but destroy it during your opponent's next end phase, which will let you summon out your copy of C. 101 which is really good you basically go through the line the same way you make your copy of nash knight once you make your copy of nash knight you use its ability attach this card from the extract and then since this card will be on the field you overlay it with cxz and then use this card to be able to make c101 and then since you made it this way this will be under your copy of your c101 which is super cool and when it does get destroyed your copy of your c101 can bring itself back since 101 is in the grave which is just really cool for the Armor XZ cards, we're going to be playing a single copy of Fortress. Fortress is really good because it can search the Trap card, which is just really, really nice. One copy of Full Armored Crystal Zero Lancer. Crystal Zero Lancer is just really easy to be able to make because you can also XZ summon this card using a Rank 5 Water Monster, XZ Monster, which is just really cool to be able to do. Plus, this card gets really big when it's on your side of the field. Play a single copy of Full Armored Dark Knight Lancer. Dark Knight Lancer is insane to be able to make with the Trap card because this card has the ability once per turn. You you can also XZ summon this card by using a rank 5 or 6 XZ monster that you control as a material against 300 attack for each material and equip card this card has. And once per turn, you can target an XZ card in your graveyard and add that card to your hand. And once per turn, if an equip card becomes equipped to a monster you control except during the damage step, you can attach a monster your opponent controls to this card as a material, which usually is just going to go off when you use the trap card, which is just really cool. We then play a single copy of Double A Zeus just in case we need to board wipe and then finally a single copy of Typhon because Typhon is just amazing to be able to make in just about any deck. So that's it for the deck guys. I hope you enjoyed this deck. is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played Ice Jade before, you should definitely give this deck a try. It's really fun. It's easy to play and it's really insane to be able to lock down your opponent with this deck. It's really, really cool and I absolutely love a greeny in this deck greeny has like three different forms in this deck which is just so cool so that's gonna do for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and we'll see you guys in the next video see you later guys